Hey guys, subscribe for daily content. And if you're shopping for gear, make sure you check out the description for the newest items at some of the very best online retailers. There's also links for some of the items that I personally recommend. Thanks. What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here, and today I've got another short little unboxing to share with you guys. I don't know what's in here. It was sent by Michael, uh, most likely in response to my recent community post about knives I was looking for for review. You can check that out in my community tab. Uh, yes, you absolutely get your knives back after I'm done. Thanks so much to my generous patrons who are supporting me. There's a link for Patreon right down below, and please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. Okay, let's get in here. There's actually no tape on the... It's uh, Tradition is, yeah, I have to make that cut with the uh, unboxing knife. But... Uh, <laughs> it made it, so I can't really criticize, you know. Um, okay, so we have, here's a thing. There's that. Some packing material, and we have a note. Oh, good, good. Hey, Metal Complex, this is my blank. <laughs> this thing is a tank. I've been, uh, I've taken this thing across the country, hunting, hiking, and camping, and it's just as good as the day I bought it. Uh, for over a year, it was my daily carry until I recently got my Spyderco Shaman. After discovering your channel, <laughs> feel free to do whatever you, uh, whatever to it. Take it apart, use it, abuse it, etc. Uh, it should hold up, I hope. Anyways, enjoy. Awesome. Oh, thanks so much. Uh, he says he doesn't post on social media. No problem. Well, thanks, man. Um, this is a apparently very well loved Benchmade turret. Wow, it actually is quite a bit bigger than I thought. Oh, it's manual. What? I thought that this was. Why did I think this was assisted? No, it's a manual. That's a nice surprise. Okay, so, ooh, and this is G10. Oh, good, good. I was really kind of hoping, well, so number one, the first time, I, I'll link this guy right down below. I'll link this knife and Benchmade knives right down below. I think this is available. Uh, materials, G10, steel, and then we have S30V, right? And these are finished. A lot of people say, well, oh, it's just G10. Of a, like, just, you're... The finish work on these knives is substantial. Like if you're if you're gonna compare it with a fifty dollar knife in D two and G ten and say all oh, similar materials, no, it's not. The the a finish work that goes into a bench made right. I mean you may not value that stuff, but that stuff does actually cost more money, right? And if it's not for you, then that's fine. But there's a there's a realistic element there that's adding to the price on top of the fact that it's manufactured in the United States. CPM S30V is nowhere near as inexpensive as people assume it to be for whatever reason, right? So, yeah, uh, not overly defending. It's just there there are more justifications there than people give these things credit for. Um, but, uh, yeah, this is cool. I'm uh, pleasantly surprised that this is not some type of FRN, GRN, right, hollowed out plastic. And I'm also pleasantly surprised that it is not assisted. It is ridiculously smooth. Probably from him, you know, enjoying it. Um, <laughs> yeah, that is crazy, crazy smooth. How is the lockup? Let's find out here. Wow, okay. <laughs> it's pretty solid. <laughs> Completely solid. Real nice. No stick on the uh, access bar. I mean, this is this this is the product of a knife actually being used, right? A Benchmade knife. Eventually, the action gets ridiculously smooth. Uh, and then any lock stick that occurs in the axis lock is going to go away. Ergonomic lines are fantastic. It does have that great, this is a really great pocket clip designed by Benchmade. Really like it. There's a thumb ramp on, and then there's also an ascending ramp on the back of the blade here uh, that's got some jimping on it. Nice lock-in. Yeah, this is a, this is a full-size knife. Definitely. Centering's good. Yeah, this is cool. Um, I have no idea what this costs. This is the first time I've handled it. Uh, edge is a little thinner than I would have expected it to be, but I think also the spine, it doesn't look like it's much more than 120 thousandths or so. And it looks like he has probably, yeah, it looks like he's resharpened this, which is fine. Um, it looks like you stayed fairly well in line with the factory bevel. Can we see a little bit of, yeah, there's, there it is underneath. Pretty darn in line with that. So that's probably about where it's going to be on the factory. You've got that nice and sticky. <laughs> um, yeah, this is a cool knife. Uh, I'm really glad to have this because I haven't had any new Benchmades, unless I'm just mistaken and this is not a new Benchmade. Um, 
I haven't had any newer Benchmade models on the channel for a while. So, yeah, this is cool. I like it. It kind of feels like an evolution of the, um, I don't know, like just a, a variant, a diff, like maybe a distant cousin of like the Griptilian or the Freak, more, more in lines. It's kind of like in between the... It's right about in the same ballpark as the Freak in terms of the size and the feel, right? The Super Freak or the Freak, however you want to relate that. Probably the Freak because that's S30V. Not nearly as big as the Adamus, if you're wondering, um, but definitely big. Let's just do, here, do a couple since I have some Benchmade or Benchmade-esque knives. There it is up against the Bug Out, and here it is up against the Griptilian or, in this case, the Ritter Hogue. So there you go. I think that's going to be pretty much it for first impressions on this knife today. Expect a full comprehensive review of the Benchmade turret here in just a few weeks. Uh, thanks again to the gentleman who sent this in. Please make sure to follow me. Did I say follow me? Did I say it? Follow me on Instagram? I can't remember. I get to talking so much. I mess up my outro and I then I take time out of a video to talk about what I messed up. <laughs> <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like, so check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that Metal Complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.